Both the waiter and the cook functions are transformed when we put the async keyword in front of them. From that point on, we call these functions coroutines. If you try to execute a coroutine directly, you will get a coroutine message, but the code won't be executed. We can try that out by running a Python shell and importing the cook function from the chorus file. First, let's comment the async run waiter command so that it's not executed and save the file. Then open a terminal and do Python 3. And from chorus, we're going to import cook. Now it's not running, it's already imported. So let's try calling cook pasta with the value of 8. See that the code didn't run? It didn't like wait for 8 seconds and then said pasta is ready. Coroutines can only be executed using a running loop or a waiting on them from another coroutine. But there's a third way we can execute a coroutine, and we'll see how to do that next. We can run multiple coroutines by using tasks. So go ahead and copy the chorus py file into a third file we'll call tasks py. So let's save this without that comment, and we'll save this file as, and we'll call it tasks py. Now we're going to change this to be instead of a wait, we're going to say task1 equals async.io.create task. And then we'll put cook inside as the task to be run. And we can copy and paste this so that we can do that quickly. So instead of the await, we do the Caesar salad and the lamb chops. And we'll call this task two and task three. What we're doing here is creating three tasks with the different orders. Task gives us two benefits that we don't get when we just await an expression. First, tasks are used to schedule coroutines concurrently. And second, tasks can be canceled while we're waiting for them to finish. So in this code, when we await the three tasks, the three cook coroutines are running at the same time. However, doing this doesn't run the task. So we have to await the tasks themselves. So we'll do await task one, await task two, and await task three. So in this code, when we await the three tasks, the three cook coroutines are running at the same time. So the execution is quite different. Let's save this and run the code again. Let me expand this a bit so we can see. This looks more like what we were expecting before in terms of efficiency. The waiter puts all orders one after the other, and the dishes that are quicker to prepare are completed first by the cook. 